we will now execute a phishing attack using the same set tool. So open the terminal and run the set tool, set toolkit, then choose social engineering attacks, then mass mailer attack option number five. Uh, what do you want to do? We want to attack mass mails, not just one single email. So select option number two. It will ask you for the path of the file that has the list of emails. For this purpose, I've created this email list txt file here, random emails. So I will provide the path. Now it will ask you about your Gmail account or an open email relay. So I will use my Gmail account for this purpose, but you can provide any open relay for this purpose as well. This is my email account. Don't worry, I don't use it. It's not my primary email account or personal email account. And the name that will appear is email password. That's the email password. Don't flag for higher priority. Do you want to attach a file? I will not attach a file because usually file attachment, like malicious file attachments, are blocked at the email control level, whatever. It's a firewall, it's email filtering system, etc. Usually these attacks don't work if you have an attachment within the email. So it's better to provide a link that has the attachment. Once you click on the link, you'll may be able to download the attachment. So I will not download Put inline email subject, salaries for example, send the email, I'll send it in P, plain form, not HTML, and now it will ask me about the body. In the body, I will put a link to a malicious file, which I will be hosting on my machine here. For this purpose, I will open another terminal and I will run the set toolkit again i will select social engineering but this time i will create a payload and a list of option number four so i will create this payload generate it host it on my web server and put the link in the email address i will do option number two here create a reverse tcp interpreter the host will be the local ip of my computer here the listener just generic number 4444 now it's generating the payload on my machine it will take some time generating payload so the payload has been moved generated under this path okay so i'll copy this path and it's asking me if i want to start a listener yes let's start a listener it will initiate metasploit console session and a listener will be invoked meanwhile i will open a new terminal and copy the file exe here to the web root directory so i will copy the file from the path to var www.html so now the file is here it's payload.exe and how can i reach it it's the ip slash payload.exe again i can go to a bitly bitly.com and put my IP here. And I ask, ask it to shorten it. So I'll copy that. Go again here to the first instance and put this in the body. I'll press enter and then END to end. Now the application will attempt to send the emails to all the list that we have in this text file. If I go to the victim machine here and check this email, I'm using tempmail.org, I have got a new email, I'll press on it, and this is the link of the, this is a crafted link actually, of the malicious file hosted on my server. I press on it, I'll save the file, save as, whatever you just rename, name it, put it on the desktop or you can just even run it directly from here so let's run it if I go here again to my Metalpreter session it will tell me that a Metalpreter session has been opened and now I have full access to the remote computer